just a little glimpse of our girls. This is Yasmin Gallinorn and this is Luna, our 15 year old who we lost this summer. Um, she had liver cysts and we thought we were going to be able to nurse her back to health after surgery. Turns out she had pancreatic cancer too and it did not present until after the surgery. Uh, here we had no idea anything was wrong. This is about two months before we took her in for her exam. She was ornery, had catitude, and was a wonderful cat. And we miss her so much. Um, we lost one of her sisters three days later to chronic renal failure, so it was a rough summer. And this is the visitor on the deck. We have a lot of raccoons around here. They're fascinating creatures. They're wild creatures. Um, people tend to forget that sometimes. But they can carry rabies. They can attack cats if they're hungry enough. Um, they can be vicious. I uh, don't want to treat them like a domestic pet. But it's fascinating when they come up on your deck and stare in your window, or when they stare down through your skylight. One night I found myself looking up at the skylight at three gray faces staring back at me, and my first thought was, the aliens have landed! And then I noticed they were actually raccoons and not space aliens, and it was a little relieved, although it still was kind of spooky. Um, they're a lot of... they're around a lot. Um, they get in the trees, they get on the roof, you can hear them at night sometimes walking across the roof. Uh, there's a lot of compost piles around here, a lot of yard waste barrels. Just a lot of food because we have a very green area, even though this is a major metropolitan area. There's a lot of foliage and it's very green and there are gardens. Um, they come and eat cat food if people have cat food that they leave outside. This one just did not want to take no for an answer. It wanted in. Um, we weren't going to let it, obviously, but it was fascinating. Here it was kind of hissing at me, and I'm not sure what it was upset about, unless it was that I wasn't feeding it. I took about 18 pictures, a number of them with our kitty Mare Claire. Um, took a bunch of video, <coughs> excuse me, and the raccoon just stood there. Now here's Mia Claire, uh, our other 15 year old, and she can't figure out what the strange cat outside the window is. And she hung around and watched it for quite a while. Um, it was fun to watch. Luckily it was safe because the door was closed. And here's Calypso, our youngest. We brought her home um, a couple days after the fall equinox. And she's been with us almost a month, so she is about three months old now. Um, Happy-go-lucky little kitty. Wants to be friends with Tara, our 20-year-old, and Mare Claire. They're not sure about her yet, and they're taking their time. No outright fights, which is nice. Uh, Tara seems to want to play here, except Tara was a rescue kitty, and we got her when she was five. As I said, she's 20 now. And she's never quite learned how to play. I don't think she learned as a, as a kitten. Um, but she gets fascinated by things like toys. Her, her greatest game is knocking things off my desk. And Calypso was watching her run away, like, Why? Why aren't you playing with me? Um, they'll come around there. Now this toy just fascinates our kitty. Um, sometimes Miracle will frustrate her by sitting on it. Oh, has to see what mommy's doing. Staring in the camera. And back to the toy again. Now that ball makes noise. Not only does it flash, but it clicks or makes some sort of clicking sound. And the plastic, when it scoots across the hardwood floor, makes a squeaky sound, so we have to get a mat for it, because 
at night that can be a little bit annoying. It's fun to watch, keeps her occupied, but it's annoying. Um, I'm glad she's so playful though because <coughs> Calypso was a feral kitty when they found her and she was fostered for a month or so. And uh, I saw her on Pet Finder and her eyes just captured me. And I had to go see her and knew she had to come home with us. And here she's attacking Hissy Fit, her big snake. Oddly enough, the green boa is one of my animal totems. And uh, Sam found the snake and we just had to have it. And she's bunny kicking it. She's very observant. Calypso notices just about anything going on. Um, she's learned the sound of the food cans opening. She, well, she's managed to take out a candle holder and a picture frame. And, oh, what else? Uh, she broke something else. Now here she is looking at me and then she's going to pounce at me. And back at the snake. And that's a little glimpse of our girls. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find footage of Keter to put in here, our other girl that we lost to the Rainbow Bridge this year. But uh, this is Yasmin Gallinor, uh, USA Today best-selling author and proud cat mama. Thank you for watching.